Abe. We'll start out with Tony Gerdeman from Buckeye Scoop. Tony. Hey, Chris, we talked to Brian Hartline like a week ago, and he said that reps are going to be up for you guys because you're playing fewer games, so it's not really that much. It's not, it's not a heavy workload, but how is it? How has it been when you're playing so many snaps through the course of a season now? Or is it is it wearing on you yet, or, or were, you, were you ready for this? Uh, not at all. I, I was ready for this. Uh, you know, I, I wanted this uh, this year, so I wanted to take a lot of snaps, uh, take a lot of reps this year, and try to be the best for my team. So uh, this is just about getting a lot of treatment, uh, getting a lot of the treatment in, in the training room, and uh, just trying to take care of my body. So. I feel like I feel 100%. I feel good. All righty, we'll go next to Austin Ward. Let him grow. Austin? Chris, I'm going to take a wild guess that you guys are still very confident in Justin. Uh, how have you seen him respond since Saturday, or what have, What has he said to you guys about, um, you know, at least those couple interceptions? Uh, of course, we we got 100% confidence in Justin. Uh, just a bump in the road. Uh, everybody has games like that, but uh, at the end of the day, we won the game, and uh, we, we're ready to move on to next week. So, Thanks, Chris. All righty, we'll go next to uh, Brendan Bulick from Buckeyes Now on SI. Brendan? Hey, Chris, happy Thanksgiving, man. Happy Thanksgiving to you, too. Appreciate that. Thank you. Hey, um, so a lot of attention has been paid here this week and in the last couple of days uh, about all of the – the pressure and the blitzes and the interceptions and things like that. But I, I had read that this is the first time in Ohio State history that a quarterback threw for 300 yards, a running back ran for at least 100, and that a wide receiver had at least 150. You guys scored five offensive touchdowns. You had 600 mm -hmm. yards of offense despite all of that chaos. Can you just maybe enlighten us a little bit about the, the level of pride that you guys take in thriving under you know chaotic conditions out on the field like that? Uh. It was just an uncomfortable situation. Uh, they were just sending a lot of pressure. Uh, we had three turnovers, which is real unexpected. So uh, we, we just had to react to it. And I felt like we reacted to it good. I mean, you, had, you said we had 600 yards. Uh, I feel like it was a, it was a, well, a, well, a well game uh, on offense end. Uh, we just got to clean up uh, the sacks and, and, the, and the interceptions and we would have had a good game. So. All righty, we'll go next to Bill Rabinowitz from the Columbus Dispatch. Bill? Yeah, Austin kind of asked my question but about Justin, but has he said anything to you guys? Do you sense any any kind of reaction from him? I mean, you know, he did throw for 300 yards and, and touchdowns, but, um, you know, do you, do you sense any kind of reaction from Justin this week? Uh, not at all. I mean, Justin's the hardest, hardest critic on himself, so uh, we all know he's going to bounce back. And, uh, he has the highest standards for himself. So uh, we're not worried at all by him. Uh, we just got to keep getting better this week and, and perform on Saturday. All right. Thanks, Chris. All right. Next up, Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. Joey? Chris, just to follow up on the, the last question about, about Justin, but he hasn't had a lot of games like this where he's come across uh, or he's had it to deal with any interceptions, and he's always been a pretty aggressive quarterback. Um, do you expect that this will affect him in any way or, or just he'll kind of be the same – guy being aggressive yeah he's gonna be the same uh just had a couple of mistakes on a couple of plays but uh he's gonna, he gonna bounce back better than ever and hope you guys believe that too all righty we'll go next to patrick murphy 247 patrick chris ryan talked about uh being thanksgiving week and, and what you guys have sacrificed this year guys aren't seeing their families that that might Obviously, from California, I know that's not a trip that you necessarily would, would make back on a regular year. But just how tough is it for, for guys this year, knowing, hey, we're we're really careful about not seeing family and and you know it being Thanksgiving and whatnot. Uh, it's tough. it's real tough. You know, uh, you know Thanksgiving is for the family. Uh, it's a family holiday, so uh, but not having a family around, so it's a sacrifice we have to make uh, for the next couple of months. So. Um, I see a family is tough, especially for me, uh, being all the way from Cali, uh, not having family at the game. But uh, like I said, it's a sacrifice we have to make, and uh, we're all comfortable making it. So. And it sounds like you guys are doing something as a team. Is that correct? Uh, that's what I heard. I, I, I don't know yet. 
Michigan. Okay. All righty, Tim May, Letter Monroe. Tim? Yeah, two quickies, uh, Chris. Number one, uh, what is it like being part of a, a tandem receiving group like you and, and Garrett are? You know, I think y'all combined for 15 or 16 catches again last week. And uh, have you noticed that's it's changed a little bit the way teams, like, play you? You know what I mean? Knowing there, uh, there are two big-time threats on the field from the wide receiver spots. And, of course, you got the, the tight ends and the other wide receivers. But just what have you noticed? It's a little bit different maybe this year than last. And maybe there isn't any. Go ahead. Uh, I noticed we're not we're not really getting a lot of man. Uh, we mm -hmm. rarely got man against Indiana. Uh, a lot of zone blitz, uh, a lot of zone. So uh, I mean, in, in the back end, it's it's, it's uh, we just got to find our spots and and get our eyes to the quarterback and zone coverages. Uh, but I feel like uh, we just we just building we just building and we just keep getting better week in and week out. So uh, yeah. we just got to keep building on that and. Uh, we got a, we got some big games coming up, so we just got to keep getting better. You know, based on your record and, and results, I'm talking about you personally and your ability to catch the ball, et cetera. You could, you could be uh, in any other realm classified as a prima donna wide receiver, yet you have this verve about you when it comes to playing special teams on, on punt coverage and stuff. Where does that, where does that come from that when you're on the field, that hundred percent effort, every play, where, where, where do you, where do you trace that back to? Uh, that's just how I was raised. I feel like uh, when I first got here, uh, I, had, I had older guys in the room to, to show me the way. And Terry McLaurin and Paris Campbell, Johnny Dixon. So uh, they set the example, and I just I just followed it. Uh, and uh, now, now I'm here in my third year as the old guy, and I want to pass that down to the younger guys. So. Appreciate it. Okay, appreciate it, man. Chris, uh, Spencer Holbrook from Letter Monroe. Spencer. Chris, it seemed like you were – Open a little more in the sec in the first half than you were in the second half, and and then Indiana tried to do some different things, maybe bracket you a little bit. Is there any adjustments you can make um, when teams do decide to bracket you, or or you know throw another guy over the top? Is there is there any adjustments you can try and make to help Justin out? Uh, when I'm when I'm getting bracketed, I just got to beat the defender that's taking away my role. Uh, like the bracket, the bracket doesn't really matter. Uh, just whoever is taking taking away my route, uh, wherever direction I'm going, so. Uh, but when I when they bracket me, that opens up things for other guys. So uh, as long as we're winning, I, I'm not really I don't really care about stats. Uh, but as long as we're winning, I feel like uh, I'm do, I'm doing the best the best thing I can to to make us win. So you and you and Garrett really didn't need any help uh, in the offense getting open. It seems like you guys are pretty good at that. Uh, the way the running game was going, but now that the running game seems to be really hitting its stride, you know, 6.7 yards to carry for for one guy and 170 yards for another guy. How much does that help you guys just to be able to 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 easily run the ball? Does that help you and Garrett a little more than than you because you didn't really need help? But does that help you guys at all? Uh, it does, to be honest. Uh, I feel like it opens it opens up the whole offense, but it keeps the defense on toes at the same time. Uh, it's either going to put one more guy in the box and and probably man a step on the outside, or or they're going to leave that guy out the box and we can just keep running and, and keep building the running stats and just keep driving. As, as long as we're driving the ball down the field and scoring, that's all that matters. So we don't really care who, we don't really care who gets the ball or, or who scores. We just want to put points on the board and keep winning. Hey, Chris, if I can sneak just one more real quick one in. I want to ask you about Julian's play after that third interception when he went back in and, and stripped it and got the ball back. It's a play that conjured up some memories for Ohio State fans of, of Maurice Claret back in the uh, in the national championship game. Mm -hmm. You've talked about wanting to mentor some of these younger guys. Can you tell us maybe a little bit about what the conversation was like if you said anything to him at all after he made that play? Uh, that's a huge play of the game. And, you know, Julian is a big-time player, so uh, big-time players make big-time plays in big-time games. So uh, Julian is a guy that uh, I trust a lot. And, I want to see, I want to see him uh, ball. So uh, making a play like that in a game like that is huge. And uh, that's what he did, so. Thanks, man. All right, Chris, thank you very much for your time. Have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Appreciate you. you have a good day. Thanks, buddy. All text to the lead. Okay, appreciate it.